Session number 9 and 10 in Adobe Illustrator bring us to a little larger project now. In, in session 5, 6, 7, and 8, we've created shapes. We've worked with strokes, fills, and effects. We worked with the Pathfinder, and we worked with the Pen Tool. Now, with all of those things in your arsenal of weapons, it's time for us to go to work on another idea, and I want to show you where we're headed. You're going to work on creating uh, like a sign or a graphic for an ice cream store. That is the, um, that's the idea that you're going to have to work with here. You have to create a sign or a graphic for an ice cream store. Now exactly what it turns out looking like is up to you, but there are certain requirements, and you're looking at mine right now. I'll zoom in on it a little bit here. Not that much. But I'll zoom in on, on it a little bit so that you can kind of see um, what we're talking about. See if I can do that a little bit better. Uh, I based my whole idea, my whole graphic on the uh, on the iPad, and so my ice cream store would be called the Ice Pad. <laughs> Get it? iPad, Ice Pad, and uh, the, the, the it has a little slogan: "Satisfy your app, the tight." <laughs> Get it? And I've got these little graphic things here that kind of show what we would sell. And we've got free Wi-Fi, and you can order from your iPhone. And so, you know, we've got all that kind of stuff that's on the sign or the logo or the graphic for the ice cream store. All right, well, this is your challenge as well. And there are some things that are going to help you along a little bit. I'm going to get to, I'm going to go, I'm going to hit the start button and go to computer and head to drive L. The course is drive. And I'll just use period one as an example. Go to assignments, uh, Adobe Illustrator. And this is session number nine and 10, ice cream. And right in here, I've got a project guide. So I'm just going to double click that and pull it up right in front of your face here. And there's some things I want to point out. 75 point project here. Okay, uh, and like I said, it, it, the idea is to design a logo or a sign for an ice cream store. You're going to have two sessions to do this. Uh, here comes some scoring information for you. You have to have the name of the store, and that should kind of be logical. Mine's called the Ice Pad, as you saw. Uh, you have to include a graphic that's made from at least five parts. Now, I'll show you more about what I mean by that here in just a minute, uh, the five parts thing have to have a tagline. Now, a tagline is like the slogan. Mine was, uh, satisfy your app a tight. So you have to have some kind of little saying that goes along with your store. Almost all businesses do that. And I want you to come up with something that you can put on the sign that would be like what you would call a tagline. It has to be an original design. I don't want you to just look at what other ice cream businesses have done, like Dairy Queen or Cold Stone or whatever, and just try to copy their idea. Don't do that. Come up with something on your own. You know, mine was uh, just something that, that came out of my brain here. And I got a couple more tips that I'm going to show you here, but let's get back to the handout for a minute. Scoring works this way. Having your store name displayed, 15 points. Having that graphic that's made of at least five parts, 15 points. Tagline, 15 points. Uh, originality, 15 points. And uh, effort, 15 points. So if you take all of those and add them up, 75. Now I got a list of names on this handout. And this handout's parked right on Drive L. You can look at it if you want to. It's right there for you. List of names you can't use. All right. These are existing stores and you cannot use them. All right. Um, so you have to come up with something original, something of your own. Now here's kind of a list of things that we've done. And, and you know, and it, we're, we're building up here. You're learning Adobe Illustrator, and we're building up, building up, building up, and, and just kind of working on this whole idea of getting better and better at it. So you can, you're can you going to have to use the type tool, and you can create shapes, and you can use the Pathfinder, and strokes, and fills, and effects, and the, the pen tool. Uh, the whole downloading fonts, I don't know if that will work so well when I'm not there, but if you can work it out, that's fine. Um, now, saving is going to work this way. Save it on your network drive until you're done with it. Just save it on Drive H until you're done with it. Call it ice cream. When you're all done with it, remember you've got to drag it and drop it into your turn in folder on Drive L. All right. So that's really the, you know, the extent of the points and the requirements and all that kind of thing. I'm going to get back to Illustrator here for a minute. I'm going to zoom in on a couple of things here um, a little bit closer because I said, you know, a graphic that's made of at least five parts. Well, all right, now, you know, I went to work on this this cup of ice cream here, and, yeah, I just didn't mean to turn that, but, you know, look, I did that with a pen tool, and, you know, there's some 
kind of that's a filled that's a filled curve with a pen tool there and it, when I start tearing this thing apart well that even this little Sunday bowl of ice cream is more than five parts all right and and this banana split here that has I did that with a blob brush you remember the blob brush I just painted that on with a blob brush and I got these dips of ice cream and I got that on there and that and that and that and that and that and so you know and even the cherry is two parts look at that you got the little cherry with a stem that's two parts right there so it is not hard to have a graphic in your in your diagram in your in your logo that has at least five different parts in it see when when you start tearing things apart and you start looking at how you can make things um gosh there's a million ideas that you can come up with all right so oh pucker and bloat right there huh pucker and bloat help me make that that shape right there all right now I want to show you something that um, I don't want on this project don't give me this don't don't give me this don't turn this in all right yes I know that there's a graphic there it's only made of two parts though I mean that's really bad but I mean the, the the text isn't I mean there's nothing fancy about the text and there's nothing there's really no work put in and and the, the only reason I say this is because people do it people try to say well okay here you go here's your ice cream logo and this is terrible this is awful so if you care about your grade at all <laughs> don't give me the Bob's ice cream kind of stuff all right now last thing on this I want to show you my little recipe for creating a dip of ice cream. Ready? Here we go. And you can use this. You can use this trick. All right, I'm going to start off by drawing a nice big circle like that. Pow. Could be any color. It doesn't really matter what color it is right now. I'll just give it a little thicker outline so we can see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to take, next I'm going to take the rectangle tool and I'm going to cut a rectangle just kind of right across the, not right through the middle, but sort of, you know, across the bottom part of that circle. I'm going to select both of them and go to Window Pathfinder. With the Pathfinder, I'm going to do a minus front, wabam, and that basically, that wouldn't be a bad dip of ice cream right there. That kind of gives me the rough shape of a dip of ice cream that could be sitting in a bowl or, or on top of a cone or whatever. But I think I want to make it one step better. Now, I'm going to go get the ellipse tool again and draw a little circle about like that and uh, I'll set that I'll just go ahead and drag that over and set that right about there and then I'm going to alt drag this and just and it doesn't you know it they don't have to be perfect you see how I'm kinda of just jagging them up and down and all that kind of stuff I just kinda of want them to overlap a little bit they don't have to be perfect at all because I haven't run into a perfect dip of ice cream as far as its shape goes all right so I've got all these like, circles just kind of blah, 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 right across the bottom. You like that sound? Right across the bottom there. And now I'm going to select all of those, and I'm going to do a Unite. So this is a combination of two things. Remember I did minus front to get the basic shape of that, that dip of ice cream. And now I'm going to put this stuff across the bottom so it looks you know, a little less just, you know, just perfect like it did before. So I'll do a, a Unite for that, pow, and look what I got. That kind of looks like a dip of ice cream. You know, it looks like something that came out of an ice cream scoop, and I could make that any color I want. You know, I could make that could be chocolate ice cream if I wanted it to be, and you could certainly alt drag that to make extra dips of ice cream, and then the dips of ice cream could be different flavors if you wanted them to be. You see what I'm getting at here? There's just kind of no end. I'm just rearranging those because I like the stacking order better that way, and then this one could be like a vanilla dip of ice cream. Um, and you know you could have a strawberry dip of ice cream uh, there we go well alright anyway that trick that I showed you here and look that's three pieces right there of a graphic so alright so have fun with this uh, get to work and see what you can come up with for an ice cream logo an ice cream sign and you got a couple of days to get it done have at it